Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. The other day, one of the channels I watch, uh, Moretti Outdoors, did a review on a Elk Ridge bushcraft knife. A budget bushcraft knife. Knife. Now, Elk Ridge is fairly inexpensive. They're nice knives. I've been carrying them for a while. And uh, the figures got a chainsaw running over there in the distance. The highway is not too far away. So, anyway. Um, yeah, I've been carrying uh, the Elk Ridge. I've been carrying a couple of them. In fact, one I can't find at the moment. It's a, it's a two-blade pocket knife. And uh, Creative Redundancy tagged me to do a multi-blade knife show. And I can't find that knife anywhere. I don't know if I put it in a kit or where it is. I was every day carrying it and or, you know, putting it in my pocket almost every day. But I cannot locate it. But anyway, we'll get started here. Some of y'all may remember I got this knife uh, sometime back. I'll put a, a link when I get a chance to. Um, when I got it. I'm not 100% crazy about this one. It's a little bigger than what I thought it was going to be. It sure is a pretty knife. It says Elk Ridge right there on it. I don't have any of the parameters or you know any of the sizes. Uh, you can look it up on Facebook or on, on Amazon. It's a, Like I said, it's a little bigger than what I thought and it doesn't always fully open when you click the click the thingy it does you know 50 50 by the time I, I, I don't know I guess after I carry it for enough times it'll wear in but that's number one it's also sometimes a little difficult to close there we go it doesn't always ride on the bag but it's a convenient spot to put it while I'm talking about it the one that is riding on the bag is very similar to the one that Meridi Outdoors did a review on. He did it, the one he did was a nine inch. This is an eight inch overall. This is a heavy, substantial knife for its size. It's not huge. I mean, you can see that. And I can't quite get all my fingers on it comfortably. But it's, it's a good knife. It does not turn in your hand. And it takes a beating and it keeps the edge. Um, I've had this for a couple of months. So I've had it out of its sheath numerous times. Um, I have yet to actually have to put another edge on it. I've honed it a few times. But other than that, it's a nice enough knife. It's got the little gimping on the top to help you you know, control the blade or whatever. Um, I'm not 100% happy with the with the, the scales. I wanted darker scales, but you know, it is what it is. So there's that. Put that back in there. One thing I'm not real crazy about with Elk Ridge back up here they're snaps they don't give you quite enough room sometimes they're a little difficult to get them to meet if you don't have it exactly in the right spot then it's really difficult now inside of here I have This one, again, I'm not 100% sure on the size or whatever. Pretty sure this is just a six inch knife. Um, this one usually rides on one of my other bags because I think it fits the other bag. Uh, it's got this cutout in the blade, which it's kind of cool, but it also hurts the strength of the knife. 
I mean, it's it's not. I mean, it's plenty thick enough to be, you know, a heavy duty knife. But that cutout would be, you know, could be disastrous. But it was under ten dollars, so I can't really read what well, what all it says on the back. Again, it's just an Amazon. So I'll put a link in the description box when I get a chance to put it in the description box. I do like the, the sheath on this. I've never had a problem with it coming out. When I, I carry it on the outside of my one, my one uh, sling bag. It, it, it fits in there rather tightly. So, yeah, that one, I like that one. And this next one kind of kind of goes with this. This is another one of those small small knives, it's got a two and a half inch blade, but again, it's, it's just, a, it's a pretty knife, and it goes more or less with this, it's, <laughs> it's only a little more than a half its size, but And I'm not real happy with a with a blade that goes up and then back down again. I kind of like everything in a one plane. Here to put it away. There we go. Like the way this knife kind of, you know, the top. It's, it's all one, it, it flows nicely. Oh. This one, it really does it, but it's still, it's a, it's a, I like the colorations of it. I like the reddish colored handle or scales and the black, black blade and, uh, I don't know what it is. Again, it's off of Amazon. Pretty sure it was under ten bucks. Definitely, excuse me, definitely under fifteen. Again, with that difficulty with the snap. There we go. Oh, we lost the lens. Perfect little magnifying lens. Like I said, sorry for the excess noises or whatever. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think, folks. Uh, here we go. Use this one. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If you'd like to check me out on Facebook, Imager, or Instagram, I'll have some links in the description box eventually. You'll also find links to similar videos, uh, the links to these different knives and whatnot, like I said. Um, you'll find my snail mail and my email, yada, 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 yada. Cancer is an insidious disease, folks. Uh, I just posted a video. Shout out to John T. Cash. John's really suffering right now with, with battling his cancer. Cancer will rock your world. If something doesn't feel right, go talk to a doctor. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, people.
We're not promised our next breath. If you're estranged, forgive, forget, apologize. You may not get another chance. I hope to see you all again. And until I do, hope you have a great day. Slots it, y'all. Bye-bye.